Hey guys, we're always trying to give you guys new resources. So I've gone through and I've tried to document a little bit more about these camera.get options and more specifically the differences between the Rico Theta V and the Rico Theta SC2. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of these uh, kind of crossed out uh, stop sign looking symbols. And what these mean is that these uh, settings are partially supported. Now, what does that mean? It means that some are gonna work on the Theta V, some are gonna work on the SC2, and some might work on the Z1. And it's not immediately clear uh, which commands will fail on which camera model. And so what I've tried to do is go through and run every single command, and I came up with this, ta this table. So leftmost column is the command basically behaves as you would expect and work on both SC2 and V. Now, I've also found out some commands in this column here that would only work with the theta V, some commands that would only work for the theta SC2, and some commands that I just found didn't work with either camera. Now, what does this mean for developers? Well, it means that uh, this table, which I'll link down in the description, this entire repository will be available to you, should help you figure out uh, if a command's not working, maybe just doesn't work with the camera that you're using. And I've also built this application, this mobile app here, which displays all the camera settings to the screen based on the camera model that you're using. So this is just a mess of camera settings, but I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit about uh, the reason that I decided to build this app and what it can do. So first of all, it can take a picture, pretty standard, and we can display the last picture to the screen. Um, this looks pretty typical, looks pretty nice. Now on this next screen, uh, I have a bunch of settings that you can adjust. And significantly, I'm using the camera's API to pull the existing settings from the camera. So this HDR setting, this is pulled from the camera. And if I toggle it, you're gonna see that the HDR status is now set to HDR. We can take a picture and wait for the process and we'll see the difference is nominal. But significantly, you go back to this next screen and re-pull the information from the camera. Now, the, the way I'm doing this is I use the info command to uh, detect the camera model. And based on the camera model, I'm pulling the correct uh, API commands because we know that some commands are not going to work with the Theta V, these two in particular here. Now, hopefully in the future, I'll make a video tutorial that details how to build this basic mobile app from the uh, video tutorial series that we've covered uh, previously in this channel. And I'll link to that in the description. But for now, I just wanted to show you how powerful the uh, camera options can actually be. And so if you're a photographer, you probably understand what all these settings do. But for those that don't really know, uh, I'm just going to change the exposure value to negative 1.3. I'll take a picture and display it to the screen. And compared to our previous shot, you can see that this one is quite a bit darker. Now, another thing that you can do is adjust the uh, color temperature, right? And let's change the color temperature, take a picture, display to the screen. And what you should notice if it loads is the hue of the image is quite a bit more blue. And this is just two of the many, many settings that are available with the camera.get options, which gets you the current state of, of the camera and the camera.set options, which allows you to set the state of any of these commands. Now, the point of my app, if you haven't noticed by now, it's pretty basic and it's not really something that you'd want to deploy or even show a commercial or professional client. But the point of it is that um, using these kind of basic sliders and buttons and drop down menus, you can pretty much change any of the settings that are available here. I, don't, I can't really think of anything that's on this list that you wouldn't be able to change with, um, like without adapting or extending kind of the basic design that I have here. And these settings are so powerful, but not all of them work on every camera model as my table shows. So I just wanted to create a resource for you guys to um, download and you guys can play around with these sliders and add another one by just copy and pasting um, and check 
if you're having issues, maybe it's due to the camera model. Um, if you are having a cam problem with these camera options and it disagrees with what you see on this table here, just feel free to post down in the comments and we'll try to help you out if you can. As always, our goal here is to help out the community and just provide more information so that everyone can have an easier time developing uh, with this 360 degree camera. So I guess if you like what you're seeing, uh, subscribe to this channel and we'll try to keep pumping out more informational content like this. Thank you.